Hello everybody, in this video I'm show you how I beat Commander O'Neill. Uh, I tried the first time because I didn't remember the fight and then I changed weapon. I came with the stuff, it didn't work. Second try, I got him. I bring the Wing of Astal, which is an amazing weapon. It's actually amazingly uh, good against this fight because you have an opportunity to attack. When he jumps up and land, you can actually attack him and he won't be able to hit you. Although he will actually do like an attack, you won't actually get hit. So it works amazingly well in this fight. So the first part you just get rid of his uh, helpers, uh, guards, get rid of them fast and then focus on him. His actually attacks are pretty slow and very very predictable, uh, although sometimes you don't pay attention you can get uh, hit by those. But when he jumps up, this is my opportunity to actually uh, uh, do my Astal Nebula attack and you can see that it works amazing at the second part of the fight. This is especially when of course I'm facing him because all my ashes actually die. And I need to find an opportunity to actually deal lots of damage and get him down as fast as I can to deal extra damage. And I'm going to show you the build uh, right after the fight. Alright, Rip Spirit Ashes, it's just me and him. As you can see the window that I have to attack when he actually misses and I can put those hits it's amazing for this weapon and this is the build that I use overall it was pretty easy with this weapon insane insane skill for this weapon if you have this try it out it will make the fight very very easy now a few tips for this fight by the way here you can when he charges attack you can do it once the moment before it lands uh, I just panicked here and I actually did want to get rid of the AoE and then I didn't see him so I just rolled another one and quickly another one to evade because it just lost sight of him don't do like three times with the nebula because it's uh the time frame between his attacks are very short when he jumps up all right before he actually lands you can just roll once and you're gonna evade his attack before he does the uh, landing animation just roll and you will miss you can attack with the nebula and you will miss again so this is why it's so good for this weapon and I can just do it repeatedly uh, until I finish him. Again, he jumps up. This is the opportunity to actually do it when he jumps up. Otherwise, stay far. Uh, when he jump up, before he lands, roll. He's gonna miss and you can use the attack again and you're gonna miss the second attack. And basically, you can just rinse and repeat until you finish him uh, with that. Uh, it's pretty easy as you can see. So well, the weapon, the weapon skill is amazing against this fight, so if you're using intelligence and dexterity build, try it out. It works amazingly well. I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.